My name's Linda Berendorf and I work for the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service on Fraser Island. I've probably been here about 12 years and in that time I've spent a fair bit of time working with dingoes. What you're seeing behind us is a whale carcass that has washed up about three months ago and it's nice and ripe just the way the dingoes like it. We've had a look around and there's about uh, six uh, different tracks from uh, from different dingoes. We'd like to set up a few traps around this area here and we tag dogs for management um, reasons and we also collar dogs for research reasons. We use what's called a soft jaw trap so it may be steel in construction but it has a, a rubber uh, jaws on them so if, when the, the dingo puts its paws on there it, it, uh, it, it holds the dingo's paw rather than harms the dingo's paw and it's to, to stop them from, from getting away. We may use from one to four traps on, on a uh, on a string depending on what we're trying to trap for, who we're trying to trap for and where we're actually trapping. We've been trapping on Fraser Island since 2001. In that time we've trapped probably close to a thousand dingoes. The traps don't take very long to set at all, it's a simple setting process. It has a, a small trigger plate and which the, the animal puts its paw on and that will set the jaws off to, to hold the paw by those uh, rubber, rubber jaws. Shake shaft. Uh... I do two things. Uh, one is I work with uh, wild young kids having a, a hard time and I work with uh, wild dogs. I was asked this year to come up, they're having trouble uh, getting radio tracking collars out. The time frames were pretty tight. They needed to get uh, a young dog and an old dog, an alpha dog, out of different sections all across the island. Uh, they weren't having much trouble getting the young dogs but the old dogs were pretty sort of tricky. So um, we've got a contract to come up here and catch those dogs and gee what a special beautiful part of the country to come to work. Uh, look it's a pretty specialised business this catching dogs so um, getting the tiny small bits right is what's really important. We work on the natural process of what the dog does so and we know when the, the dog's born first he gets uh, his scent that's his strongest thing and later on his eyes come into action so he's actually blind and deaf when he's born his eyes come in and then he gets his ears so uh, when we're trapping, this is what I'm teaching these guys here, is um, we use that dog's nose to bring him into the area and then we use his eyes to lift him up and away from uh, those traps. Then we get him to step on them uh, and we come and process them. Uh, probably one of the things we do differently is um, talk a fair bit of dog language around those dogs. So uh, we get the dog to submit rather than rushing in and bustling around and scaring it and damaging the dog. And we talk to it in dog language, this is what we're here teaching these guys, we wait till that dog's nice, calm, relaxed, then we go in in a, an orderly fashion, uh, do our business. So uh, up here on Fraser Island we'll weigh the dogs, we'll measure them, and we'll check their coat colours. Uh, up here it's fairly important that they get ear tags on the dogs uh, when there are behavioural problems with the dogs. Um, people often will be able to take photos of them, they can zoom in on those photos, the dog's got himself a little ear tag. Uh, just like we put in sheep or cattle or goats. Uh, so the dog's got the ear tag, they can zoom in on that and then they understand exactly which dog it is. But catching that dog and getting that stuff together uh, is pretty important. So the project we've been working on uh, is putting satellite collars. So uh, being able to track those dogs, we just do it for a short period of time. Uh, has a mortality factor of the collar and it drops off um, after a certain period. Um, but what it does is it gives us a reading every two hours, shows exactly where that dog is. Fantastic stuff for being able to have a look at home ranges, uh, where they move, what times. So pretty interesting project. Um, happens a lot around Australia and we've been involved in, in different programs uh, helping get collars out in different parts of the country. Uh, and already the information they're getting is just stuff that you can't get by seeing a dog walk up and down the beach.